Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything. I'm your host, James Egan. Today on Horror Month, we'll be looking at Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Christy Swanson. I am so sure. Donald Sutherland. Ah, ah. Paul Rubens. Ah. With Rutger Hauer. And Luke Perry. No, not that one, a TV series. Don't even get me started on that movie. Xander was meant to be played by Ryan Reynolds, but Reynolds had to turn it down because he didn't want to revisit his time in high school because he was horrifically bullied. And that is the first fact about the TV series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Let's dive in. books and library scenes are real. Nathan Fillion plays the evil Caleb. He originally auditioned for Angel. Sometimes you can see Vampire's reflections, like in Season 7, Episode 6. Him, you can see Spike's reflection in Glass. Sarah Michelle Gellar was the only actor in every episode. The creator, Joss Whedon, hated how women always seem like idiots in horror movies. He wanted to make a horror show where the heroine was a blonde, beautiful woman, but looked like a damsel in distress. I just realized his name is Joss Whedon. I've been calling him Josh Whedon for 20 years. What? Teacher is named Krabappel? I've been calling her Crandall. Sarah Michelle Gellar says she finds it very difficult to act laugh. So the demon could eat them. As a result, the writers made as many scenes as possible where she had to laugh. Because they're mean. There's 145 episodes. Only seven of them have no vampires. Sarah Michelle Gellar auditioned for the role of Cordelia. Charisma Carpenter auditioned for Buffy. Both actresses ended up with the opposite roles. Alison Hannigan plays the geeky Willow. We didn't cast her because she was the only person who auditioned that didn't wear thick glasses or acted like a nerd. Alison was just naturally geeky. And I'm eating this banana. Lunchtime be damned. The average episode cost $2.3 million. This is one of the first shows ever to use the word Google. It cost the special effects team $5,000 to do the effects every time a vampire crumbles to dust. In spite of this, many viewers complained that the vampire deaths looked fake, which they did. James Marsters auditioned for the role of Spike with a Texan accent. Spike's coat cost $2,000. After it was bought, it was run over repeatedly by a truck to give it a worn look. Although there was a Buffy the Vampire Slayer film released in 1992, this show was not based on it. This show is based on Joss Whedon's original script for the film, which was heavily rewritten for the really bad movie. This is one of Will Smith's favorite shows. Also, let me know if you want me to do a video about Will Smith. Not for horror months, but afterward, in November. Katie Holmes and Selma Blair were considered for the lead role. The master's look is based on Count Orlock in the film Nosferatu. Also, let me know if you want me to do a video... Wait, oh, I already did, never mind. Joss Whedon is known for foreshadowing stories years in advance. Although Dawn doesn't appear until season five, her existence is implied in season three. Although the show ended in season seven, the story continued in a comic book that lasted 40 issues. Eliza Dushku plays Faith. After she left the show, she was offered her own spin-off. She turned it down to do the show, True Calling. Although the first is the villain of season 7, he appears in season 3 in the 10th episode, Amends. After the credits, the mutant enemy mascot walks by and says... Grr, arg. This creature was voiced by the show's creator, Joss Whedon. Mutant enemy with the name of Whedon's first typewriter. Nicholas Brendan plays Xander. He was told to stop working out because he looked too muscular to play a geek. The director desperately wanted to do a musical episode since season one, but the producers repeatedly refused. He finally got his wish in season six with the episode, Once More with Feelings. It has the highest rating of any episode of the show in IMDb. In fact, it has one of the highest ratings of any episode ever in the history of IMDb. It's alright if something has come out wrong. We'll sing a happy song. Phoebe from Friends must be a fan of the show because she has at least twice worn the same clothes as Willow. Phoebe Buffet <gasps> in. Buffet the Vampire Lair. The clothes that Willow wears in Season 4, Episode 6 is worn by Phoebe in Season 6, Episode 8. The clothes that Willow wears in Season 2, Episode 7 is worn by Phoebe in Season 4, Episode 3. That is brand new information! But this isn't the only time something is borrowed from Buffy. A blade in Star Trek Nemesis is the same knife used by Fate in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And finally, probably the most obscure fact, the executive producer of the show is... Dolly Parton. Special thanks to these fine people for all their help. Be sure to subscribe to Facts About Everything. Follow me on Twitter for updates on upcoming videos. Check out my Facebook page to let me know what subjects you want me to talk about in the future. Thanks for watching. See you again.